Hello, this is Eric Chappell, author of AutoCAD Civil 3D 2013 Essentials, and I'd like to talk to you about getting ready to use the book to work through it, to work through the exercises, and to use your software. The first thing you will need, obviously, is AutoCAD Civil 3D 2013, and as you can see, I have that up on my screen right now. There are two suggestions in the what you need section at the front of the book that will help things look more consistent with the screen captures that you're seeing in the book. And those two things are this. The first thing I want to do is change my screen color to white. And you see I've already done that, but I want to show you how I did that. I'm going to right click within the drawing area, go to options. On the options dialog there is a display tab. From there I'll click colors and I want to make sure this is set to 2D model space uniform background and I'll set that color to white. That's the first thing. The second thing is to dock your command line at the bottom of the screen. As you can see mine is floating here in this new style that has come out with AutoCAD uh, 2013 and again to be more consistent with what you'll see in the book I'm going to dock this at the bottom of the screen just show that one more time. All I did is click on the, the dots here on the left end, drag it downward until I see it expand out and fill the entire width. And you may even want to grab this top bar and make it a little bit taller so you can see a little bit more of the command line. So those are the changes that you make to your AutoCAD interface to get ready to use AutoCAD Civil 3D 2013 Essentials. The next thing you'll need to do to get ready to use the book is download the data sets. Now the book contains URL addresses that tell you where to do the download, but I think it's easier just to go to the Wiley site and work your way through it in the way I'm about to show you. I'm going to go to Wiley.com and while I'm here I'm going to search for Civil Essentials 2013 and that will bring up the listing of the book. I'll click on that which will take me to the books page and when I scroll down I see the downloads tab here so I'll click that and then I'll see a listing of all of the data sets available for each of the chapters so I'll click the first one and go ahead and save that to my computer once I've saved it I'll locate it on my computer and then I'll extract it so I'm in Windows 7 and in Windows 7 I can right click the zip file and just say extract all. Now this is important. Certain exercises in the book won't work properly if the data sets haven't been installed in the proper location. To install them in the proper location simply enter C colon as the location to extract the file. So you're extracting them right to the root of your C drive. I'll click extract. It'll go through the process and when it's done I'll have a Civil 3D 2013 Essentials folder in the root of my C drive. And in that folder is Chapter 1. So now the Civil 3D 2013 folder exists, the Chapter 1 folder exists, and when I go to the next chapter, I'm going to download that one, save it to my computer, locate that file, or that, that zip file, Again, right-click, Extract All, and once again I'm going to pick just the C colon, the C drive. And when I ex hit Extract this time, it will recognize that there's already a folder there called Civil 3D 2013 Essentials, and it's asking, do I want to merge the data into this folder? Yes, I do. So I'll click Yes, and now on the C drive, my <coughs> Civil 3D 2013 Essentials folder has two chapter folders in it. And if I were to go through the remaining 16 folders for all 18 chapters, I would see them all listed here. So that's how you download and install the data sets for each chapter. And while I'm here, I do want to point out there is also an answers appendix for all of the Essentials and Beyond exercises at the end of each chapter. I also want to point out that there are metric and imperial versions of all of the data sets. And also the uh, videos of the Essentials and Beyond exercises are available for download here as well. And that concludes the setup that you need to do to get ready to use AutoCAD Civil 3D 2013 Essentials.